The ProDSS and the Exosonde are YSI's two most popular multi-parameter water quality instruments. In this video, we will explain the similarities and differences between them so you can make the best choice for your monitoring program. You'll need to start by determining how you'll be collecting data, whether spot sampling or continuous monitoring. Spot sampling involves traveling to a site, dipping the probe in the water, and taking a measurement. Continuous monitoring means you'll be deploying a sonde in the field for long-term, unattended monitoring. The ProDSS is designed for spot sampling, while the EXO specializes in continuous monitoring. The ProDSS is the ultimate spot sampling instrument for any application. It can measure more than 10 parameters at a time while being compact, portable, and maintaining a rugged design that can hold up to the most challenging environments. On the other hand, the ExoSonde is designed to be deployed autonomously for several months at a time, with unmatched anti-fouling, a large internal memory for logging data, optional internal batteries, and the ability to connect to data collection platforms. The EXO is built for continuous monitoring while still maintaining flexibility for spot sampling applications. Now let's review some key similarities between the ProDSS and EXO. You can equip both instruments with sensors that can be used in a variety of environments. The sensor measurement technology between the ProDSS and EXO are identical for almost every sensor, and they share the same principles of operation. The sensors undergo the same verification testing and produce data that is highly accurate and reliable, even up to laboratory standards. Both instruments feature sensors for optical dissolved oxygen, PHORP, conductivity temperature, turbidity, total algae phycocyanin or phycoerythrin, and nitrate, chloride, and ammonium ion selective electrodes, as well as an optional internal depth sensor and GPS. The EXO and ProDSS have universal sensor ports, meaning any sensor can be installed in any port, and the instrument will automatically recognize the installed sensors. And since they are all smart sensors, they store their own calibration data, making it possible to swap them in the field. They also have smart QC indicators to assist you with calibration. Although the ProDSS is exclusively used for spot sampling, the EXO can be used to collect discrete data as well. Like the ProDSS, the EXO can interface with either a handheld display or the Core Mobile app to view and record live data in the field, calibrate sensors, configure settings, and transfer data. Core software is also available for easy data management between platforms. The EXO and ProDSS share an exceptional build quality and rugged design with titanium sensors, retaining nuts, and bulkheads that make them true field instruments. Paired with their unmatched three-year warranty, you can use them with confidence. There are a few important differences that distinguish each instrument for specific applications. The ProDSS can install up to four sensors. The EXO, on the other hand, has three models to choose from, with four sensor ports on the EXO-1, five ports on the EXO-3, and seven on the EXO-2, you have expanded opportunities for monitoring all of your parameters of concern. The EXO-2 and EXO-3 also feature a central port, which you can equip with a central wiper, a powerful anti-fouling tool to keep the sensor faces clean and maintain your data quality even in the toughest of deployment conditions. On top of this, EXO offers additional sensors that the ProDSS does not, including fluorescent dissolved organic matter, or FDOM, rhodamine for dye tracer studies, and nitrolead, an optical nitrate sensor, and a redesigned wiped conductivity temperature sensor, purpose-built to work with a central wiper on the XO2 and XO3 for improved anti-fouling. The ProDSS sensors feature LIMO connectors for precision and durability, but they do need to be kept dry. The EXO, on the other hand, uses wet me connectors on the sensors, sonde, cables, and handhelds. Now let's talk about data logging and power requirements. The ProDSS is designed for collecting single or multiple data sets before moving on to the next site. The sensors are powered by the handheld and therefore must be connected at all times. While the handheld has a large internal memory, this instrument is not designed to be left unattended in the field. All exosons have internal memory for logging over a million data sets, which is great for standalone deployments or if you would like backup data even when transmitting readings. There are a variety of output options available for communicating with data loggers, including SDI-12, RS-232, and Modbus. 
They can also receive power from an external source. The exosons with an internal battery compartment can be deployed autonomously, powered by D-cell batteries, meaning they can be left unattended, logging internally for several months. Finally, the exoson can be submerged down to 250 meters depth for use in deep water and marine applications, whereas the ProDSS is rated to 100 meters, which is sufficient for most handheld profiling applications. So which instrument is right for you? You should consider your application and whether you will be spot sampling or continuous monitoring. You can even use both. For example, if you have an EXO deployed at a site for continuous data, you can bring your ProDSS during your field visits to take discrete measurements for data verification and quality assurance. Whichever instrument suits your environmental monitoring needs best, you can be confident that both the ProDSS and EXO share YSI's values of providing accurate data with reliable instrumentation to protect water resources.